two days out. And this is where things really start to get interesting. So first couple of updates are that cardio has dropped to 30 minutes and half the intensity. I'm trying to just get my legs to relax because they're very achy and tired and we don't want inflammation to make them look flat. I'm gonna be foam rolling a lot today. Some nice easy cardio, a little bit of training. The other big update is that we are carbon up, finally, carbon up. Just means that meals two, three, and four are all one cup of rice now. Before it was half a cup of rice on meals two and three, and then three quarters of a cup on meal four. Now they're all one, and Russ said that I could switch the one cup of rice for two apples on one of those meals if I want, so I'm totally gonna do that. Right now I'm just eating meal one, and I need to figure out the schedule for the day because today I'm also getting my hair cut. So I'm very excited to show you that. Today is just gonna be an awesome day. I ended up not doing the two apples in replacement of the cup of rice just because it's a lot of volume and I didn't wanna uh, risk upsetting my stomach stuffing it so much because this is what the cup of rice with the tuna looks like. So it's a, it's a decent amount of volume. Um, and I just haven't had a lot of rice, so I was feeling it, but mm. this is the rattlesnake seasoning with just standard mustard. Oh, mm. Salt Lake barbecue. This barber shop is recommended to me by my friend, and this place is actually really, really cool as far as like the interior design and the feel of the place. Looking forward to seeing how the haircut turns out. Alright, so here's the final product. So, <laughs> I, I hope you can see that well. I'm not very good at aiming this. That turned out really, really well. He spent, uh, a good amount of time getting the line right, which is really important to me. And, um, you know, super cool guy. It was actually the owner that was working on my hair. So that was pretty neat, actually. how much I'm rotating into this and I bend down because the judges are down here so we're judging we're yeah. posing towards the head judge right then you can swing it out okay. so you can hit it like this originally so they see it like this and then Posing's done. We are gonna just try to train the best we can. You know, I, I do feel better with the carbs, but it's also been a few hours since I've eaten, so I'm not feeling very good. Uh, uh.
That hurts. <laughs> the pump itself is really nice, but I am so low energy right now. And um, all the, the swinging with my head starting to make me feel dizzy. Um, so, favorite part of the day right now, getting some food. <laughs> I gotta take advantage of every available moment that I can. Um, right now Amanda's at the store grabbing some things and Jay's asleep, which he has not been wanting to sleep, but he needs it. So, while I have a few minutes, I'm gonna roll the quads. The quads are just so tender that this really, really hurts. <laughs> The good thing is, is I'm kind of holding a plank too, so, you know, a little ab work never hurt. <sighs> Ouch. This does not feel very good. That's, that's not totally fair. Um, after the initial shock, it's not too bad. Um, but I also think this water could be much, much colder. Maybe I just need to move around to get some the cold circulating. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the cold just needs to move around. <laughs> getting donuts donut boy donuts look so freaking good like this one is a chocolate mousse <laughs> oh great stuff great stuff and yeah, we're gonna be getting some of those the morning of the show and this is a trial run for the hairstyle that I want to do for the show I'm gonna start making some fish this meal sucks it's just a piece of fish with nothing so sad but hopefully tomorrow I'll get more carbs okay really outdone myself before we wrap things up for tonight I discovered a new way to improve the creamy two scoops of protein with water in here mix it up then get the element salt packet and just pour it on top but don't mix it so it'll it'll just pool on top throw it in the freezer for the longer the better but what will happen is the salt will keep whatever's around it from freezing directly and then just run the hot water on the outside to get it to detach. And when you blend it, because the there's dry salt in there, it's going to whip it. So you get like this really interesting like mousse texture. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see that. But yeah, it's like light, airy so so smooth mm. the only problem is i want to eat three or four of these feeling pretty good today with no vegetables extra carbs uh easier cardio all that kind of stuff um my body's starting to feel more relaxed and um i did a lot of foam rolling today especially in the glutes my legs are feeling pretty good and the ice bath helped I think the biggest thing is I feel very flat in my stomach. Like I don't feel bloated or anything, which is really nice. Because usually by the end of the day, I do feel kind of bloated, just regardless of what I'm eating. But um, yeah, I'm feeling good. So I'm excited to see how tomorrow feels with maybe more carbs, more rest, lots of stretching and foam rolling. And, and then it's show day. So that's crazy to me. Wow, we're almost there. That wraps up for Thursday, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. Good morning. We are one day out. Tomorrow's the big day. I am so excited to see what today looks like, um, but I'm getting all antsy and ramped up for tomorrow. But first things first, got a bottle for the baby because he's bulking, so he's got to eat first thing. And then you know what's coming up. We got to do a little posing. Changes for today is that meal one, instead of doing an apple, I'm doing a cup of oats. 
So it's been a while since I've had oats. So I probably did too much water and didn't cook it enough or whatever. So who cares? Um, it'll still be tasty. Um, and then a cup of rice with meals two and three. And then I'm gonna do an, uh, a check-in at 2 p.m. before he tells me what to eat for meals four, five, and six. So until then, um, after I eat this, I'm gonna start meal prep for both the rest of today and tomorrow, because after about three o'clock, I'll be gone most of the evening doing athlete check-ins and my tan and all that. So I'm just gonna make sure I have enough food for any circumstance. Filming in progress. Give me a minute. Mm. Got meal two right here. So uh, that's just tuna and rice. And I did the cowboy butter seasoning and mustard. And it's tasty as it gets. <laughs> um, the rice I prepped today is just totally plain um, because this is going with me tomorrow. So that'll, that'll be my rice for today and tomorrow. But tomorrow it needs to be plain, so there's nothing in it. And then, so far I've got some fish going. Um, still got some cooking. Um, I'm gonna do like eight fillets, because that should be more than enough for tomorrow. Um, especially because I'll have tuna as well and whatever else. So it's not like the only thing I'll be eating is rice and fish. Just if that happens to be the case, I wanna make sure I have enough. Um, cause it's all about digestion and how my body's feeling with different things. So, um, yeah, once those two are done, that's the big stuff for the food for tomorrow. And then it's all about figuring out the packing and organizing and, um, Amanda's about to go shopping and get all the stuff that we don't have that we're going to need rice cakes and stuff. Shopping. Can you tell so. we just watched white chicks? <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a classic. So, um, yeah, it's just a quick update. My arm's starting to hurt holding the camera, so. Uh. Things went from zero to 100 really quick. I did my check-in and my weight has just kind of popped up because um, my body really likes rice. <laughs> so now we need to pull water really hard. So no more water, no more food. And I've got uh, several layers of clothing on. We're gonna hit the sauna for about 20 minutes and re-weigh and just see what happens because I guess weigh-ins are tonight not in the morning so which seems weird to me but I don't make the rules not sure if you can tell but just got the tan I don't like the feeling of tanning it's very sticky still haven't had any water or food uh, the sauna kind of worked to drop maybe a pound and a half in the sauna um, but I've gone to the bathroom since then and had more time so who knows um, maybe by the time I actually weigh in, I'll make weight. Things are moving pretty quick, so I'll make it fast, but competitor number six just weighed in at 181.6. So I am going to have to move up to light heavies and bodybuilding, but I'm under my uh, weight cap for classic, so that's fine. Um, but I'm going to hop in the line and grab a goodie bag and my badge, and then we'll be done with check-ins. It's time to eat real quick. Um, all I get is no water, no carbs, just five ounces of fish with some mustard and seasoning. This actually looks pretty good because in the uh, in the goodie bag that we got, the competitor goodie bag, um, they gave us seasonings, and so this is Hawaiian barbecue from that. Mm. And it's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Proved. I'm gonna enjoy this very very slowly. And I will see you at check-ins at 9 p.m. Okay, well, there was the first real sneak peek at my show physique. I'm just waiting to hear back from Russ about what we're gonna do for food overnight. I've got another check-in at three in the morning, but I'm gonna count that as part of 
show day vlog. I'll be filming tomorrow. Uh, all of these videos are probably going to be a little bit late, so if you follow me on other media platforms, then you probably already know the results of the show. I don't right now, so that's kind of crazy. But tune in next time to see what a show day looks like in the life of a bodybuilder.